sometimes I find dating apps difficult, trying to avoid any sort of dick pics. I'm just not really interested in the body. I'd rather see a girl in a nice comfy jumper or something like that. I feel attracted to people, it's sort of more like romantic attraction. Like I look at them thinking like I would cuddle him. I still want to be in a relationship, I just can't have sex. It's the one thing I can't do. Growing up, like in high school and stuff, I've just never really had crushes. I just sort of thought other people were making it up when they did. Like, really? Because I didn't feel that way, so I just assumed, like, nobody else did. I haven't really had much confidence anyway, so I was scared of talking to boys. I'd prefer to pretend that none of us had genitals. <laughs> like, it's just skin. <laughs> like, just like a Barbie and a Kendall or something. Like, that'd be an ideal world for me. I just like cuddling. Um, I do like kissing as well. Um, if, if they're a good kisser, like, can't deal with someone, like, trying to eat my face. <laughs> like, that just creeps me out. Um, it would be nice to think that I'm not going to be on my own forever. But, um... I just don't really put myself out there and try to date because it's, I just kind of think, well, it's never going to go anywhere unless I find someone who's also asexual. But then I kind of think, well, what are the chances of that? Throughout my youth, I was quite, I guess, confused about how I felt about people. You know, I was attracted to men, but not attracted to them sexually. So was I really even attracted to them? I had a relationship with a woman that sort of broke down, but I didn't really know why that was. And then I think I, you know, started to understand that actually I wasn't sexually attracted to them either. I'm not sexually attracted to anyone. I'm attracted to men for non-sexual physical intimacy. But um, actually getting to a point where of having a long-term relationship might mean that there's some sort of negotiation or agreement. If there's someone that wanted to have sex but I wasn't up for it, then actually would I be happy with them having sex with someone else? I'm not sure if that would be a problem for me. If it's a you know something they desire to do, but I can't, I can't offer that. Um, but they still value me in other ways. Then I think that's that's probably that's probably okay for me. Gaming is very addictive because it's more fun than real life and it's easier than real life. You just say the right thing, follow the script, and, it's, and it works out. It's all good. It's a real shame that sex is such a big thing. And if it wasn't so important, it'd be a lot easier for people like me to have relationships. You know, a lot of people, they walk away the instant you say that I'm asexual. They'll sort of take a step back from you, like they think you're contagious. You very much get, oh, you've just never had the right person, or you've just never been done right. You know, there's, there's some very inelegant things have been said to me about it. A lot of men think they can start fixing you immediately just by getting handsy, and it's, it's absolutely not. Absolutely no, you wouldn't do that to anyone. The worst incident I actually was attacked. And I very much felt that the only way I was going to get out of that situation was to give him a hand job, and then get out as quickly as possible whilst pretending that everything was fine, you know. And so obviously it, it is best to tell people very, very early. Otherwise a lot of people will feel as though they've been led on, and as though they've been cheated. There's that perfect ideal situation where you tell them and they will sort of go, oh, me too. Or if they would just be like, that's okay. I don't think relationships should be built on sex. But I think if somebody said that to me now, I'd just be gobsmacked. 
You know it won't happen, but there's always that hope that it might. I've been single for five and a half years now, and I have never had sex. Which is w weird for my friends and everything, because they're just like, how, how have you not had sex? you're uncomfortable in here. Yeah. It's... Everywhere you look, isn't it? It's just, well, it's, it's all Yeah, it's, all it's about just sex. sex. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no idea what that is. Do you find these women attractive at all? Not, not massively, no. Um... So if you um, was to see a woman in these sorts of outfits, how would you feel? Would you, would you feel, you know, turned on by that or...? No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be interested. I just don't get any enjoyment from it. It's not like I've got a low libido or anything. It's, it's more like this doesn't do anything for my brain. Do you masturbate? Is that like a thing? Because if you're not I sexually don't. active, you don't masturbate. Do you masturbate? I've done it in the past, but I'm not interested in it. It doesn't. It doesn't do anything for me. It's hard for me to understand that really, because a lot I know a lot of guys masturbate. So when it comes to you being asexual and you don't enjoy it. Yeah. It's just not, yeah. it's not my thing, it's not my cup of tea. How can you tell whether it's a friendship or a relationship developing? I still feel attraction. Yes. It's more romantic. And like, the difference between like, a friend and a relationship, other than, other than sex. Yeah. Um, it's, it's more like, it's not like I'm not enjoying my time with other friends and everything, yeah. but in a romantic way, I'm enjoying myself. I can understand what you mean, like you've got, you know, speaking to friends like you're speaking to me, and then obviously speaking when you're on a date with somebody, and you feel like you've got a deeper connection, is that what you kind of mean? Like, Yeah. So like, you know, when you're on your date and stuff, a girl usually, when she's interested in you, will just touch on the shoulder slightly and things like that. Do you get any of those signals when you, no, at no. all? No, asexuals aren't really, like, yeah. known for flirting or anything. No, no like flirting, yeah. So, how would you, so how would you, you know? Oh, you know? We were laughing at each other, you know, it was really enjoyable. We spent, like, two and a half hours inside here. Yeah, I, re I remember so, you saying, you spent the whole like, day together, didn't you? Yeah. It was a really, really long day. I just don't know where you, I stand. You don't know where you stand with at the whole all. I just don't know if she's actually interested in me or not. OK. Just say, look, and was wondering if you wanted to meet up again. So, yeah, be more direct about it, say, you know. I, can, uh, I kind of want... Say, ask no. her if you want to know where you stand. Just say that. You, don't, you told me you don't know where you stand, so tell her you don't know where you stand with it. Where? Stand? Yeah. Yeah, just put that. Do you think Sorry. that looks all right? Yeah. Because you want to know, and that's the only way you're going to find out. It's Where, the only way. So it's the only way. It's the only way. Just it. send it. Uh, just send it. Once you send it, that's it. It's done. There we go. It's done. Mm -hmm. God damn it! Just tell me already. <laughs> it, it must be a no because essentially she must be tiptoeing around it. It's clear that I like her. It's hard for me to figure out because I want to help you, but it's it, it's hard, isn't it? Because you work on a different level than say I do in how how I gauge if somebody's interested in me or not. I just find it so funny because I tell you everything in like such detail and you're just like... <laughs> you do that on purpose though, don't you? <laughs> no, a lot of the stories are like embarrassing and that makes them funny. Like when I threw up on a penis. So... <laughs> well, a great day for one and all. <laughs> I'm not completely like sex repulsed. Like I don't have like an aversion to thinking about it or hearing about it. Like it's just because it, I think it's because it's so everyday, isn't it? Do you masturbate? 
Yeah, like, like if I have a crush on someone. I didn't even knew. Did you I, not? I, I, I feel like I've brought up like vibrators and like wanking before, and I always just assumed that you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> um, a lot of the time, I think it's just like a boredom thing. But yeah, I know what you mean. Um, so have you ever had an orgasm? Like with someone else? No, or? no, f- with yourself. With, yeah, <laughs> with myself. Yes. And does, so, does that not make you think that you would want to have sex? Oh, no. Or do you just think because I can I can do this myself? Yeah, fine. exactly. Like it, I sort of never made that link. Like yeah. to oh, I want someone else to do this. I'm feeling pretty awkward, to be fair. Would you ever just go up to someone and like have a bit of a flirt and not really think about it? No, <laughs> I, would, I wouldn't go up to anyone. Um, but if they come over to me and like talk to me, I'd tolerate it. <laughs> oh wait, just see what? <laughs> what? Who? <laughs> Which one? Oh no, wait, I changed my mind. <laughs> At some point, you're going to have to make that the decision to speak to them about it. I'm actually realising how many issues I actually have to work through. <laughs> Do you know, because it's like, um, oh, you, you're lonely and you want someone, but you ignore guys, you won't go up to them, you tolerate them, you ignore them on Tinder, and it's like, actually, what am I doing? It actually just terrifies me thinking about meeting people. Because it's not only like, oh, will someone accept me for me? It's like, if you find someone who does, it's then, oh, but will they accept me for me if I won't sleep with them? I think everyone finds dating in this day and age to some extent difficult. It's important for me to just put in the, the effort. The sort of market out there is perhaps smaller than for other people anyway. Um, not only am I looking for someone that's going to be okay with me being asexual, but also someone that is also a man looking for to date a man. I'm 24, I live in Bristol, um, genuine, creative, caring and adventurous. So this guy has good hair, so likes dogs, likes spooning, likes tea, Don't, not keen on tea, but um, the other two that's good. I think if someone mentions spooning then that's kind of, or cuddling, then that's kind of, for me, a clear indicator that they also have some sort of sensual attraction. Yeah, if I'm looking for someone to cuddle with and they're also keen on cuddling, then you know, that's really good. Sometimes I find dating apps difficult, especially in the sort of gay, same-sex men attraction, more so than straight dating apps. There is this sort of very sexualized nature of some things that are certainly, for me, very unwanted. It is bust enhancing. The top button is actually broken because it did too much bust enhancing and lost. He approached me first on the dating site. I made sure that he understood exactly what this actually meant. So that's like the biggest hurdle has already been crossed. The ideal person for me would have to be funny, loyal, but, you know, I'm not one of those people that thinks there's only one person for everyone. If I don't feel any kind of spark, it'd still be nice to have a friend, if nothing else. Just a little bit more nervous now. Actually starting to feel a little bit more uncomfortable about it, but uh, I will feel better when he gets here. Eight. Got eight minutes. Well, there's, uh, there's no sign of him currently. Um, I've just sent him a simple, are you on your way? I'm getting to a point where I'm thinking, if anything happens to my parents, I am alone. My brother's moved to another country, and we're not that close. And that impending knowledge is that you could end up totally alone in 20 years, because the dog won't still be around then, is, it's a bit scary.
I'll probably give him until half past. I mean, half an hour late is late enough, in my opinion. He's just disabled his account. The account's gone dead. Users disabled their account. It's 10 minutes ago. It was all functioning, and his picture was there. So that's happened in the last three minutes. feels a bit pointless sometimes trying, but I would rather be alone than have to have sex. That's how much I feel I can have sex. It's not an insecurity, it's not through prudishness, it's some serious trigger in my mind that just says no, absolutely not. I would rather be alone. Oh, there we go, here we go. Wow. <laughs> Paragraph. I'll let you have a reason. Right, okay. So as to where we stand, well as far as I'm aware, we're friends. We haven't seen each other enough to make it anything else. I suggested a meet up a little while ago. The dates didn't work. You were looking for a new job and then you ran into problems. Asked me to back off, so I have I was honestly hoping you could come to the meet this week and then again after. I find messaging difficult, hence why I'm terrible at it. So she obviously does want to meet up with you. I think she's feeling like, she feels like, you know, maybe she's lost your interest because she hasn't been able to speak to you. Yeah. I said just, get, just give me a few days and everything so I can sort this out. But maybe. I didn't ask her to back off. Well, maybe clarify that with her, Do just say, um, I didn't mean it so to come across like that. clearly taking it as something else, and that, and that's clearly kind of stressed her out. And it's not a no, I think that's the one thing you have to remember, it's not. It's not a no. It's not a no, which is, which is great. <laughs> alone and I'm scared to really say to people look I am this because I feel like if I will disclose my asexuality to people they will abandon me when I tried to tell my sister I was asexual she said but the way you dress you dress for men that means you must want them in your life and you must want to have sex with them it feels good to have a conversation and know that you don't even have to explain yourself I just feel relaxed yes if you're not sure about like one part of your identity or that you're kind of confused on, is it okay that I do this as an ace person? I do a lot of drag and, <laughs> co and cosplay and I just love it. And everyone thinks, why are you wearing sexy outfits from like sexy film stars if you don't want to attract someone's attention? I'm like, oh, I'm doing it for myself. There is definitely like the spectrum of asexuality is probably so much wider than people think it is. So much of what people were saying, I was just like, same to actually hear people's thoughts and it's like actually they're my thoughts and I never thought I'd hear another person say that out loud. Can I get everyone's Facebook or Twitter before they yes, leave? Of oh, amazing. This upcoming year I'm I'm thinking of organising some meetups for people. Would you guys be interested in like coming along to them? hundred percent. There's a couple of people that I've sort of been listening to and it's like I would really love to be friends with this person. It is kind of odd, like, finding a guy that I think is cute that might potentially be, like, the same kind of asexual, because it's like, normally, if I like someone, it's like a definite no-go. So it's like, even if I feel something for someone, I have to just ignore it and pretend like I don't. It's a start, I guess. Yeah, at least I know that cute asexuals do exist, which I didn't think they did. <laughs>